This is Meeple Overboard, and today we are going to do a quick run through of Whistle Stop. We'll be doing a full gameplay and just uh, we've everything set up already. We'll just explain to you very briefly. You always put coal in all of these spots here. You always have the dark green tiles in the last column here representing the different uh, end areas. Most of these are victory points. We also have both stock markets here on the board. And then this middle column is, is uh, has a formula. So you always have two of the stock companies available, one coal yard and a trading post. And then the other ones are kind of randomized in there. And then this is set up so that uh, stops don't go directly back to each other. So the board is all set up. And then we use two more upgrades per person in a game. So we have four upgrades here. This upgrade requires two gray cubes. And once you own this, then for an action, you can spend one coal to gain two coal. This one requires two of any of the cheaper priced cubes. And once again, one coal, and you can get a cube of any cube of your choice. This is any two cubes for one coal, which will turn into one whistle and then two white cubes and this says when refilling you may look through the tile stack for your tiles so literally you can look through every single tile in the stack and find the exact tile that you want there you go so one thing is that uh, so we'll, we'll start here with the first round why don't we pick a player so we'll just shuffle these up uh, blue will be chris and yellow will be wendy uh, wendy pick a hand my left Okay, Wendy, I go will get, first. Wendy will get to go first. And so what happens is you, in reverse turn order, basically take spots here on the board. So I think I'm going to put my first train here in front of this blue spot, because that's a, a rare resource as opposed to these common resources. And I'm actually going to go right next to him. I'm hoping to get over here to this coal yard and trading post. The coal yard seems pretty good, so in fact, I'm going to set my train right here because you see that this could be a very straight shot to that coal yard, perhaps. And I'm going to go here. Same idea. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look. Let's see. I know that. So these stocks require blue, and so uh, you trade in the amount shown on the top. Uh, so a blue and a gray cube, or a blue and a green cube to get those points. I'm going to go here and grab this other blue, a B right in front of that spot. Okay, I'm going to go here as well. Oh, when he's going very heavy on that side. I am. So I think For that, better or worse. So why don't I uh, go here a little bit then? Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and come down here to try to get white cube. Okay, then I get to pick a last spot and... Nothing is jumping out to me as particularly special, so why don't I go here? That looks pretty good. Okay, and just to get something kind of in the middle, I think I will go here. All right, very good. So now we get to start the actual first round of the game. And what the rule book says is that you should stack up two coal per player right on these spots here. I've done that for the first two rounds just so we can show what that looks like. But you see all these other ones just have one coal. Uh, because honestly that it just becomes a little bit of a hassle and especially if you're playing with like five players this game goes up to five players you're going to knock over stacks of 10 coal so each uh, at the start of each round players are going to get two coal they also start with one whistle and now wendy as the first player gets to take her okay. action so i'm going to spend a coal and i'm going to actually move this nope this train because i'm yellow and I'm going to move right here. Now, if you see, it ends, so I need to add a new tile. I'm going to add this tile right here, which is what I was hoping for. So I'm going to grab this green cube right here with my first coal. I'm going to spend my second coal to slide the rest of the way along this to the coal yard where I get to get two new coal. Very coal of you. Ha ha ha. And then, let's see. I am going to going to go ahead and move this person here to get a gray. Sorry, spentacle to move that there to get a gray. And then I am going to move down to the trading post to trade my gray in for two more coal. And that was, 
sorry, that was spent this coal. So that is my turn. Spent all my coal. There you go. And you did two trades at the trading post? Oh, I only did one. That's, That's right. right. You can do two trades, huh? Yep, it says right there, two trades. Ooh, fancy. And the other eligible trades, uh, I guess it always has to start with a cube. So you can turn that green into two regular uh, of the common cubes or a different other one. And you can just choose not to take it if you don't Sure, want. I will trade this in for two gray cubes. Oh, interesting. And so now you could afford this if you want. And these upgrades can be purchased at any point on your turns if you want. So are you going to do that or are you going to hold on to that? Um, I'm going to hold off. Okay. Well, that's a good first turn. So as you see that each turn you can use as many of these resources as you want. You have up to four actions, though. Uh, and so mm, I really like the idea of trying to get over to this coal yard, but my path won't be as direct as Wendy's. So I think I'll spend my first coal to move to this gray space. Whoops, I get one of these gray cubes. Next. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot at the end of my turn to draw back up to three tiles in hand. So That's I can right. either grab one from here or I can grab an unknown one from there. But this is looking pretty good, so I'll grab this one. Yeah, well, yeah, why don't you do that? I will spend another coal to chug along here. Now, I really want to come here to the green. Thanks for revealing the next tile. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chug along Choo Choo uh, right, right this way to grab another gray cube. At this point, I'm going to spend these two gray cubes to buy this power up whereby in my next turn, uh, and what's cool is you're limited to three power-ups and they sn and they fit in kind of snug right there on your board. So in future turns when I have coal, I can turn coal into two coal. Uh, and so I think that that's a pretty good first turn, honestly. So I'm going to stop there. I did just like one day I spent one of my uh, things here, so I'll grab this and I'll replace it. Oh, the gold mine is out. Okay, so at the end, uh, or at the start of a new round, we come here to the round tracker and we grab two coal per player and we distribute it out. And so at, at starting from here on out, there's just one coal on here and we're going to grab our own. And then down at the whistle spot, there's only one whistle per player in the third to last round. All right. So I'm going to take this train right here, so I spend my coal. I'm going to take this train right here and get a green. Spend another coal to take this train right here up and get another gray. And let's see, what else do I want to do? So many options. Well, I definitely want to get two more coal. That is useful. And then... I'm sorry, I spent a coal to get two more coal. Okay. Right. I'm really bad at putting those down before I take my turn. I always put them down after. How did you spend one coal to get two more coal? To go to the coal yard. Okay, you went to the coal yard. Yes. And... Oh, that's right. Yep, you moved from the trading post up. Gotcha. Yep. And then I am going to go ahead and take this guy, spend my coal, to get a white. Very good. You're quite loaded up there. Oh, one thing I forgot to do at the end of last round was to discard all my used stuff. That was my mistake. I like to do it just after my actions. You can do it at the end of the round. Either one's fine. Right. Yeah, either way makes it less likely for you to mess up. So I'm going to... Um, mm, let's see. Yeah, so I'll spend my first coal, and I'm going to move and grab probably this blue here. 
So I'll grab these blue. And in case you were curious, each of the cubes stands for a different colored thing, but I never remember what they are. Brown is wood, and there's five other things. <laughs> That's really what I I look at this game and I just think, you know, so. Okay, well that, that was my first movement there. My second movement, or my second action, I'm going to spend coal to activate this, which grabs me two more coal, right? So you see how you only get two coal every round, so getting some sort of thing like the coal yard or a coal car like this is really critical, otherwise you're never going to be able to take all four actions on a turn. So a third action, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to spend this fellow, this happy little fellow, uh, actually over here is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to come forward here to green, so that means I get to get a green cube, which you see now I have blue and green, and there might be a stock on the board that uses, that takes blue and green. And then my last action that I think I want to take this turn is mm, yeah what the hell i'm gonna move this guy forward and grab another blue as well so that's going to be all four of my actions for the round i take these and i discard them and then um so start of the next round each of us is going to get two coal so here's wendy's here's my two. Oh, and i have to draw back up uh tiles so Sure. Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab this one, the one that requires the blue and the green, because I've got those. So there's some tiles in the game that even have no stops on them, and you see a couple of them here. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, only one train per small stop, but these big ones can hold multiple. So if I wanted to have, I could have moved there. Okay. My turn. I'm going to spend a coal to bring this one all the way around here and get a red. Then I'm going to spend a whistle to move, I'm sorry, I'm going to spend a coal first to move this one and get a white. And then I'm going to spend my whistle to move this one forward two spaces and get this blue. And then, because I really want to get this before Chris gets it, I'm going to spend, oh, that means I will have less coal next round. I think it's worth it to get the first set of that. So I'm going to spend a coal here. I'm going to spend my green and blue and gain 10, ten points. 10 victory points, yep. And so I have the first stock. So give yourself 10 points with the yellow, uh, what looks like um, sour tart or sweet Smarties. tart. Smarties, yeah. 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 Um, and then I will take this one, actually. Pretty good, so replace it. Man, and I even grabbed that that tile last round, thinking maybe I could get it first. So, you live, you learn, and then you get loves. Well, that's too bad. And now, mm, so on my turn, I know for sure one thing I want to do is I'm going to spend one coal to get two coal. I'm using this power instead of moving this train here because this is blocking this train behind it. But the next action that I want to take is a bit of a puzzle. So I'll spend one coal and I'm going to chug along this train to that spot. Finish here. I'll trade in my blue and my green which will also earn me 10 points right alongside Wendy and grab me the second share. Now it's important to try and grab the earlier shares because if at the end of the game there's a tie, whoever has the lower number share, in this case Wendy's one, is the original share compared to my two. So this means I might be trying to compete, trying to get uh, more shares than her. That's only a tiebreaker. Now, next thing that I'll want to do is I'll want to see what I can do to try and get some green cubes. So that I can, you know, I can try and get more of the St. Louis Express. Unfortunately, the way that I'm set up, it's a little bit difficult to do that, actually. So, spend this one to move 
this tray in one space, and I grab a gray cube. I could whistle over there. I think that's what I'll do. So you can only move past someone on a track if you have a whistle. Yep, so I'm going to spend my whistle, which allows me to move two spaces, including passing an opponent. Bam, so I come here, I get to grab a green, and now these two trains are blocking this one train. So that's that's pretty good for me. Not bad. So at the end of the round, we're going to clear out our resources uh, and then come here. The round progresses. Each of us is going to get two coal again. Okay. All right, back to Wendy. Okay, I'm going to spend a coal to come down here. Now I can do two of the same trade, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to trade in two grays to get four coal. Might as well live up the coal. Add two. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then I am going to San Francisco. <laughs> See if I can figure this puppy out. Thematically, you are moving from the East Coast to the West Coast. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot to draw tiles again at the end of last round. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw a tile blindly. So I get whatever that one is. Okay. So I'm going to spend a coal to move this guy around here. So I get to place a second tile. That you do. Um, and I think I want to place... this one right here. I'm going to end on a brown piece. So that's two coal. And I'm going to spend my two white. So this does not take a coal action. I'm going to spend my two white to get this thing where I can look through and pick whatever tiles I want. Oh, that's really good. Um, because it's possible that like one of the, sh the stock share cities will never come out, and that guarantees that maybe Wendy can search for the one that she wants to get. I just really wish I knew what the combinations were. I don't remember what the combination of cubes are for the stocks that are not on the board currently. So we will mm. figure that out eventually. Um, let's see. Why not? I will pay another one to go to this gold mine. Gold mine, you get to pick out any gold that you want. Not looking. She loves gold. This is what I got for those. Chris can't see, but you all can see. Hey, I can't see. So that's how many victory points I have just at the end of the game. Yep, those are just nice hidden victory points. That's off camera. Oh, sorry. Your coal is one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I have one more action. What do I want to do with it? Let's see. I don't have any more tiles left, so I can't move into an unknown space. So I guess I will just go get some more coal because I am the queen of coal over here. It's kind of ridiculous, but I don't have to get coal for a while. That's true. That's one of the nice things about this game is that you can kind of stockpile up or you can do like me where you live in more paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> but I've got this quick payday loans thing right here. Oh, let me think about if I want to take that action or not. Uh, so, mm, yeah, there's a lot oh, of... Oh, I need to draw up, so I'm going to take... Yes, please. Oh, you have to draw up all three This tiles. one. Oh, I get to look. I totally get to look. Okay, so... I will be a while, so Chris, take your turn. Yep, so while she does that... I know that technically this could affect what I might get, but I don't think she's going to take any of these face-up ones. She wants those special tiles. So what... And I actually... Sorry, I wasn't... Hmm... I wanted to get this thing. Are you okay if I get that since you haven't taken your turn yet? Sure. Okay. Sure. Spend uh, two uh, of any of the common resources. And which one is that? Oh, that's turn one coal into whatever I want it to Any be. cube, common or rare. So that's pretty good. Mm, I'm starting to be a little worried, a little intimidated. So let me, if I follow this train track here, it leads into this city that Wendy's in and then it curves up. Oh, that's weird. 
Hmm. Booyah. So this is this will be my first move, so I'll spend my first call to chug this train along right here and grab a brown. That's fine with me. Take my next one. And I'll move along this direction. And I come to this stock company city, coast to coast, with Space Ghost. So I come here, I turn in a blue and a gray. And that is going to be worth seven points for me. Our hero moves up to 17, and I get to grab the first coast to coast share of the game, which that feels good for me. And now I need to get, yeah, I need to try and get blue. Yes. So I'm going to spend a coal to get two coal here using my coal car action. Then my last action will be to move that same train forward. So this one's gonna go this direction land there get this to, to squeeze and fit in nicely so this train's going to move here and i get to grab a blue cube which is nice because then this city is on the map again so that's all four of my actions so the round is over uh, i'm going to turn in four coal but also take this one off of here so wendy gets two coal because that's what she needs is a lot more coal so much more coal so much more coal there we go and now i get to draw up and I think that I'm going to draw, so I need to draw up two. I'm gonna draw the first one blindly, and I'm gonna draw the second one blindly as well. Okay? Okay. So because of my really cool upgrade, now I can use this as many times as I want on my turn, correct? Absolutely, you could do it for all four okay. actions, but every time you're still putting a coal onto your board. Yes. So I'm going to buy a white, and then I'm going to spend a coal to move this guy up there to this American Railroads thing right here. Booyah. Trade in my red and white, and I will get the first American Railroad stock. Can you hand that to me, please? Got it. Okay. So if you own the majority of a, sh of a stock at the end of the game, that's 15 points that you'll be earning. All right, and then... Oh, did you also move up your seven points for that? I did not. So up to 17, so we... we... keep tying. I know. So fancy. All right. Let's see where I want to go. All right, I'm going to spend a coal. To move here and get another white cube and then I will spend my last coal to go here and get a whistle very good toot, toot. oh you know what I just realized that doesn't work it doesn't connect the way I thought it connected okay you're right you're right sorry take those back go back to my blue take my last two off let's try this again that connects up here. Northward, yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, that's fine. Um, then I will put this one here to get my white. So spend the coal to get my white. Okay, we're back to where we should be. Back to hexagon one. <laughs> and then... Do you, get, do you get the joke? Instead of squares, they're hexagons. Ha ha ha. Cute. I'm hilarious. Um... These white squares. All right, I'll spend my last coal to get another white. And that's my turn. Very good, very good. So I need to draw up three more tiles. And since you still have that awesome power-up, you can draw 
from the face down tile stacks. Everything I want. I want that one. Boy, I am feeling it. Definitely got to make some good moves right now. Unfortunately, this guy's surrounded by so much brown, and brown's the last thing that I want at the moment. So let me do this. First, I will move this train up here, joining in to trade in blues and greens. I think this is steel, and I think that this is whiskey, and then like cattle or something. But honestly, this is it's just like Lords of Waterdeep. I'm like, blue cube, green cube. <laughs> so I get to grab another share of the St. Louis, St. Louis Express stock, which I'm more than okay with. And I get to move myself up another 17. So 17 plus seven, or another seven, plus 17 is 24 points that I'm at, that's good. I will move one of these trains forward, I think. Yeah, I, I, I do want blue. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this train forward here to the whistle factory, letting me grab another whistle, which is good. Then, uh, are you all tiled up? I am <laughs> tiled up. Oh my goodness. Brown, white, brown, gray, brown, white. You said you <laughs> wanted brown, right? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I said. See, she's <laughs> such a good listener. See? Such a good listener. How do I get some of these other colors that I'm not going to say out loud? Because that would be foolishness of me. I want green. Green is pretty much what I want. So I'm going to spend... I'm going to spend a coal, I think, to... Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna chug this choo choo doo, 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 down that superbly long path uh, to come here. Oh, is that what I want to do? No, I will do this one instead. I will do the green. So I finish out the path. Boom! I land there on green. Green means go, Chris. Go, Chris. Yeah, thank you. See, she gets it. Then do I want to spend a whistle on anything? I think I will spend this whistle, actually, to blow past this brown and come here to the blue. There you go. I've got blue and green again. And I have to take one of these awful tiles. So I think I'll take this one with the gray on it. Very nice. Revealing a new one. Well, look, one of those blank ones, always good. So all the resources that I spent go back. We take off the next coal and then two out to each of us. So this is a very unusual game where Chris and I have not been running out of coal because he has that coal ability and I have these coal abilities, basically. Very yeah, similar. one is just kind of jumping back and forth here. Yeah. So, usually I feel like we're struggling more than we are. All right, I'm going to spend a coal, because unlike you, I actually do need brown. Oh, really? Yep. You can have all of it. Thank you. Actually, don't take all of it. That means you might win. Ha, ha, ha. So, this guy here is going to get a brown. And then... Um... Where do I want? I will get a whistle here from this guy. Whistles are very useful. And then... I will go ahead and spend a coal to move this train up here to USA Freight, and I will Ooh, trade in dang. a brown and a white. May I have... Hey, no fair using browns. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> there you go. Wendy has number one in three 
different shares, but I do have uh, the most so far of the St. Louis Blues. Express. Indeed. Um, I have one more turn, and I'm in need of coal. I only have one cube to trade in. Darn it. You know what? I won't do it this time. Or you could spend a whistle and blow past my guys that have been blocking you this whole game. Oh, and get two coal. And get two right? coal. Right? Does that lead right there? Uh-huh. Either one of those paths. That's true. That is the benefit of having whistles. Sure. I will take your sagely advice. Get myself some more coal. I'm sorry. I put the whistle in the container and on here, but it's on here. Okay. Yep. That is my turn, and then I will draw up, so take your time, honey. Oakley and Dokley Neighborino. Well, I... Since my blocking is no longer useful, I will spend one of these coal to move this guy forward here to the coal mine, uh, grabbing two coal. I do love that these uh, big town spaces can hold any number of trains, but that these little ones you can use to block people. I think that's such a great mechanism. Um, and then I need to figure out what I want to do with my life. You could marry a beautiful woman. That's true. That Have would, a beautiful daughter. It would be a pretty good idea. <laughs> so I think I'm going to then spend one coal to move this guy down here. I'm going to utilize this trading post the way that Wendy's kind of been doing it, where I think I want to trade in this brown, as you all know my hatred of brown. Oh, yeah, which which one of these can I get pretty easily? Okay, so I'm going to trade in brown for... Uh, not for two coal. What are the other trades that you can make? You can do common for two coal, a whistle, or a different color. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I think I wanted to get... Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Which one did I want to get? <laughs> uh, was it gray or was it white? It was gray. I hope I don't bite. I hope this doesn't bite me later. But I think I wanted gray instead of white. I'm going to take a white looking at my tiles, which I'm allowed to do and make change my mind. I'm a grown up. And then my second trade is going to trade in one of these blues for... Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> so my first... Here we go. Two trades. First one is I traded in the brown, indeed, to grab two coal, because I'm going to trade in the blue to grab a gray and a white. You can trade one rare resource for two commons. There you go. So that's that's that second move. Sorry for the confusion, but I think I've got a good idea of what I want to do next. I will spend a coal to move this little choo-choo right back down there to blue, grabbing that blue, replacing the one that I got here from the trading post. Uh, and then my last action... Hmm, last action hero. What is he going to do? I think I'm going to... Well, this guy's kind of stuck here. The only logical place to take him is to either one of these. So I definitely got blue in the back. Right, one of these trains are so far from these two spaces, so I don't need to worry about that. What I do need to do is try and get some of these other shares. So my last action will be to move from this trading post forward here to Rollin' Thunder. Babuya. So I turn that gray and that white that I got earlier from my beautiful trading at the trading post. That's going to get me five points up yonder. And it's going to get me the first share of Rolling Thunder. Very nice. All right. I... So, hold on. So we're going to wrap up the round. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Boom. So we take this one off. Each of us gets two coal. When he doesn't really need more coal. <laughs> Always there, need coal. But there is a round coming up that uh, each player only gets one whistle. So stockpiling just a teeny bit of coal is really important in this game. It is. And at the end of the game, for every two movement resources, you get one point. Every rare resource is three points. Every common resource is one point. 
gold is worth the points. Uh, if you hold these upgrades, they have a printed number of points on them. This one is worth three, one of these are worth three and five. And then if at the end of the game you're holding on to any one of these special tiles, like these big city ones, uh, if you're holding on to any of those at the end of the game, those are worth minus 10 points. So I'm going to grab this one, I think, that has no stops on it, because that's nice and good for just kind of shooting, zooming across to the end here. We haven't even done any of these yet and gotten these big bonus points. This is unusual of us. It is, it is. You know what? I don't think I ever got my five points for getting the USA Freight. Oh, you know what? Probably not. Um, just thought I'd put that there. Okay. I am going to use my special ability and spend a coal to get a red. Then I will spend a coal to move down here. Will you... Can you reach me seven points or... Sure. And I'll take another red one. Okay. Turn in your cubes. Yes. And red. Babuya. Um, then I will... What will I do? You know, I'm going to spend two more coal. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spend a coal to there we go. to get a green and then another one to get a white. So a green and a white. Very good, sound of your turn. And what I will do, my first movement, I'm going to Boy howdy, this is a little bit tough. So I'm really coming to a point where I think that I'm not going to get too many of my trains across to the end by the by the before all the timer runs out before all the rounds are spent. So I need to try and make uh, most use of what I can get across. So I spend one coal. Ooh. Sure, I'm going to do it. I'm going to come back up here to the St. Louis Express, trade in a blue and a green, which is gonna earn me another 10 points. That's good, and I get another one of these shares. I got three shares of St. Louis, which I think is pretty good, I'll take it. I will spend another <clears throat> to yeah what which ones do I need to get it's a good loud dog <laughs> uh, I'm gonna spend yeah so I'll spend the coal to have moved this train up here to the coal yard thereby getting me two more coal spend one of those coal to move Oh no, that would be terrible to move to the trading post. <laughs> uh, so guess what? I'm not going to move to the trading post until I... So I'm going to spend this coal to move this guy this direction and grab a red. I don't really want red right now. So my last action will be to spend this to move south here to the trading post where I can trade in that one red for two common resources. And those common resources, I believe, will be gray and white. There you go, so those are my four actions. We'll clean up the boards, take off the next round marker. There you go, each of us gets two. I have to draw back up, and I'm gonna take this one that has the green on it. Looks good. Okay. Back to you. Back to me. 
So I am going to um, bring one of my gazillions of trains that are all right here by the trading post. Hey, you set them all up on this north side. I did. I did. It was a little overkill. I'm going to trade um, a green in for a brown and a white. And then I'm going to trade a white in for, surprisingly, two more coal. Yes, everybody. Um, when he is the coal queen. Then I'm going to go up here and trade my brown and my white in for another USA freight. Very... Nope, wrong one. Oh, US... yellow. USA freight. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Thank you. That's what, five points? Yep. Wait, where are you at? Oh, uh, yeah, so. Right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this one here to red. And then, is that where I want it to go? So I get a red. I'm going to spend another coal to, oh, maybe that's not what I want. That'll work. Bring this one all the way around here to get another red. The puzzle of the tiles is so cool. It's like Suro, the, the dragon flying around the board game, but with just a lot more game going on to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. First coal action, first order of business is to move this guy south here to grab a blue, blue steel. Oh, that's how you can remember. It's blue steel, just like Zoolander. There you go. Um, sorry, I need to pick my... Correct. Yes, I apologize. You do get to do that. Now she knows I was going for a blue. <laughs> Take that one. This one shoots back weird. Okay. It's not going to be easy for me to get to one of these coast to coasts. It'll take at least three actions to do that. Is that worth it? <sighs> yeah. Well, eventually. I need to try and get me some whistles, too. Boy, this is tough. Man, the way that this this blue city juts out so weird has been painful for both Wendy and I. So I'll come there and I'll grab that. This is a very confusing tile. It is. <laughs> but I like, I do like how the tiles are are so varied, you know? Yes. So they're, they're not predictable and easy. Oh man, yeah, this is uh, this is a tough decision here. This guy is really stuck because I don't want to come back and get another St. Louis Express. Like that's kind of redundant. Ooh. Oh yeah, obviously I don't have to go cut through there. I can try and pick up some other awesome stuff instead. Or I could use this tile that doesn't have a stop on it. So I'll spend one coal. Remember how I picked up this tile earlier? Because it had no stops on it? Well, Kachuga. Oh, wait, nope, that doesn't go where I want it to. <laughs> no, yeah, that, that is. Yeah, that's right. Ah, brain fart. Yeah. Okay. Blue and gray. Blue and a gray, turning those in to get seven points. So I go from 39 up to 46. And I get to grab another Space Ghost Coast to Coast stock. So I'm feeling pretty good about what I've got here so far. Um, and then I think that the last thing I'm going to do... Yeah, last one I'll do is I'll move this train back up here. Get out of the way! <laughs> to grab two more coal. And that'll be the end of my turn. We're getting dangerously close to the end of the, of the game. We are. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do everything I want to do. But I guess that happens every time we play this game, huh? There is a bit of a, not, not dearth, but the, yeah, there is limitation to how much you really can get done. 
we're taking a lot of time and really moving very cautiously through everything. Whereas other games we've played where we zoom across, we haven't even shown, right? So if you come to one of these last spots, you get whatever bonus is here. Then you get to take one of these bonus spots and you get more resources and stuff. So, Which is super useful. Yeah, I can't believe we haven't done a single train there yet. I know. It's kind of crazy. Okay. So I'm going to spend a coal to... Oh, so this refills. Place this one and get a white. Oh, I might want to grab this. I'm going to grab this coal yard tile for the end of my for the end of my last turn, sorry. And then I'm going to move that one again straight down to a general store, which is just one cube of my choice, right? Correct. And I'm going to take a brown. So that's my second coal. Clever girl. Um, I'm going to spend another coal to go down here to the trading post. I'm going to trade this red cube in for two whites. And then I'm going to spend a white in for two more coal. Next round is the whistle round. And That's then right. for yeah. my final coal, I'm going to take this over here. Okay, so remind me. So exactly get, how the stock market works. I get four victory points for every stock I own. Yep. And then I have to get rid of a stock. Yep, one Correct. of them gets removed from the okay, game. Okay, so I obviously should get rid of the blue one because I'm not beating Chris on that. That's not a bad way to go about it, yeah. So, um, 4 times 5 is 20. Mm -hmm. So, one is going to get 20 points from 33 up to 53. Okay. I'm going to remove this blue from the game. Throw that over there. And then I get to put my train on something. So, I will take the question mark with the double whistle. Okay. So I get so two whistles. Two whistles and one resource of your choice. Of my choice. And I will take a blue. Will I take a blue? Yes. I will take a blue. Alrighty. Very good. Very good. All right. That's all four of your actions. That's my turn. So first one I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this guy forward and grab a gray cube. Second. Hmm. I will then Hmm. So I'll move this train forward here to the coal yard, thereby grabbing two more coal for me. I need to do that for next round, because next round we only get one whistle. I will spend another coal and move this up here, turning in a gray and a white to get one more share of the rolling thunder. And five points. That good and oh my goodness i didn't grab tiles i have no tiles in hand oh yeah you definitely I'll take need that one i like that one i throw them everywhere <laughs> so i like that one um boy three rounds left in the game what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this coal car so that I can... You know what? Change my mind. I don't want that one. Nope, I'm not going to even use the coal. I'm going to come down here to the coal yard in order to grab two more coal so that I'm pretty set for next round. And so I will... Um... So one is going to take a second to do that. What I'll do is I'm just going to get this set up. So all of our coals get cleared off. And at this round, each of us merely gets one whistle into our resources. And I have to fill up my tiles, so I'll wait until Wendy is done filling up her tiles. Mm -hmm. Taking my sweet little time.
All right, so then I need to figure out which tile. I'm gonna take a blind one. Oh, I scooped all those weird. Or one of these facey uppies. I think it's a tough call. I think I'll take this guy. All right, so I, I distributed the whistle already, and so you are good to start. I am good to go. Okay. Yep. So Could you many. move all of your resources in camera? Oh, yeah, boom. I thought they were. Okay. Um, so many options. I want to do everything. I can't do everything. So, let's start with this guy right here. Chugga chugga choo choo. White and brown. Can I have a USA Freight? USA Freight. And how many points? Um, five. Five. 53 to 58. Okay, and then I am going to spend a coal to get a, oh, I don't want to do that, sorry. Um, I'm going to whistle first. I'm going to whistle this gal, pass that red to that red, and then I'm just going to go whistle crazy and skip the white and go to the general store where Very I will good. pick up a white. No, I will pick up a green. That's what I need. And then I will use... I okay, get two coal next round. I'll use my last coal to take one of these guys here. Get 25 points. I'll trade in a red, green, and a blue. Ooh. 58 plus 25, so 60 plus 23 would be 83 points. Very good. Okay, is that everything? Uh, that's my turn. Oh, no, that's right. You get to then... Oh, I get this. to place that. Yep, yes. you get to have a bonus. Okay, I will take the question mark whistle coal spot. Okay. And... So one cube of your choice. I actually... Your coal and your whistle. Thank you. Um, I'm actually going to take a green. It's a very nice Mexican flag you have there. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, so on my turn, I get to demonstrate one of the cool principles of this game, right? You saw earlier how I was blocking Wendy's train by having mine in front of hers. But right here, what I can do is uh, with a coal, you can move past one of your own trains. So even though this should be moving here, you can't stop where another train is. Instead of blocking yourself, I actually get to skip right past it. So that's great. I get to go to the general store. And I think that I'll take... Oh, it's so tough. Tough of a call. I don't know which thing I want. Um... So general store, I can take any resource. I'll make it gray. Okay, that sounds good to me. I'm going to spend a whistle. And though this might seem silly... Yeah, I'm going to come whistle here to the um, Rolling Thunder again. Turn in a gray and a white. That's going to earn me another five points. And another share of Rolling Thunder. Now you might be wondering why I'm going so clearly overboard where I already have a super majority, but that's because I'm then going to do one of these moves where I come here to the stock market. I get four points per share that I have, and that is eight shares. <laughs> uh, eight times four is 32. 32. So More than my 25 was. That is true. So uh, 56 plus 32 is going to be uh, 88. And you are in the lead. So I get to do that. Wendy got rid of one of her uh, blue shares, so I'm going to do the same thing. Just remove that from the game. Now I get to move this to any spot that I want. 
uh, and honestly, to tell you the truth, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll come here to this blue cube, uh, whistle and coal. So I got whistle, coal, and blue. Blue's been my pal all game. <laughs> <laughs> and... What do I want to do at this point? I think I'll just move uh, this with a coal here to the gold mine. Why not? And I'll take one of these random golds because that'll just be worth a few points. Oh, well, don't look Wendy. Oh, points. It's not that great. <laughs> I hope it's less than mine. <laughs> all right. So that will be all four of my actions. So we clear this up. And we come here to the penultimate round. Penultimate is one of my favorite words, meaning second to last. I wish that people used it more often because it's really useful. Uh, I didn't spend any tiles, so I don't have to draw any. Wendy, start your second to last turn. Oh my goodness. This is like exciting and stressful all at the same time. Um, I am going to spend a coal to come here and get a whistle. There you go. Is your whistle mountain? Thank you. I'm going to spend a coal to go down here and get another. Am I going to do that? Yeah, it's seven points. I'll take another red. Okie doke. And seven points for you. Yes. Ha! In the lead again. Just barely. Um, and then. See, I have a green I want. This is the problem is I'm going to, now I'm going to have just enough for next round. Actually, I think I'll be okay. So I don't need to worry about getting any more of particular things. Okay. Which means I'm just going to whistle this gal over here and get a red. And then I have this special ability that I can just get something that I want. Am I going to do that? No, I'm just going to, let's see, I need one. So hard. One, two. So I need those two whistles. Yeah, I'm just going to take a blue. Very good. Very good. All right. So what I'm going to do, spend my first coal. A lot of options on the table literally on the table <laughs> <laughs> this table on this table so i'm going to move here to the general store and i will grab a green why not i will then spend one more coal and i'll come here to the stock market again this time earning four points times seven which is going to be 28 uh, 28, so how about we do this? So 90 plus 26 uh, is going to be 116. I then have to get rid of one of my shares, which I'll do this Rolling Thunder because I've got so many of them. Remove that from the game. And then I get to come up here and I will grab red coal and a whistle. 
So my debate is, does it make more sense to try and get my trains here to the stock market again? Because one day is not close competition in the same stocks that I have. Or I could try and go here since I have one of each. I think uh, point maximization wise, what makes the most sense is to um, yeah, spend a cold move here and get red. Then spend a whistle to skip over this gray space, land right here in the general store, and I'll grab another green. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of the stock market game. All right. <laughs> so clear out our resources. And in the last round, we're each going to just get two coal. That's exactly what I need. All right, and this will end the game here. This is really intense. Okay, so I'm going to first off take this guy to the end of the railroad and get 25 points. 90, so 10, 25. Ooh. We've been pretty neck and neck. So as awesome and scary as that is. Um, I will take a whistle and a white cube. Oh wait, no, the specialties are better colors, right? So I'll take yeah, the, yeah, I'll take the, the whistle, coal, and the green cube. Okay. Perfect. Whistle, coal, and green. Whistle, coal, and green. Thank you. Alrighty. Can I make it? One, two. I can. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. Oops. I'm going to spend a coal to move this guy here. I have six stocks, so that's 24 points. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm at 39. Ooh. And I will take the red and two coal up there. Red and two coal. coal and a you were at how many points before? You at 20? Oh, Just no, it was at 15. Yeah. 15. Okay, plus 24. Was, yeah. Oh, okay, right, yep. Okay. Then I will whistle twice. One. I'm sorry, I had to get rid of a stock. Yep. Two. There. Nice. Just perfect. It's amazing. Um, which gives me then 20 more points. So... 39. 39, not 39 up to 59. 59. Oh. And I will take the blue and two coal. And if I had had one more turn and one more. Do you move your stuff on screen? Thing. One more turn and one more thing. That would have been good. Why you got all five of your trains across? All right. I did. Let's see what our old pal Chris can do. He will definitely spend one coal move here onto the stock market and now I know I mean any of these socks are fine to get rid of so I'm gonna get rid of Rolling Thunder I technically had to get rid of another one so. good point good point all right so I come here to Rolling Thunder oh but so I get six times um, so before you get rid of the share you get four times six so that's 24 for me I was at 16 plus 24 is um, well Four points plus the 20. Okay, yeah, so that puts me up to 140. That's good. Then I got rid of the share of Rolling Thunder. And I can come here and claim... I want to get the green because it's the rare resource. But I'm actually going to take the white. You're beating me. No. Hopefully I have... No, I think you won the game, honey. I might have because I'm going to take this train, move him one space to grab a brown... I have not won this game yet. Oh. I was feeling really good, but because you conveniently got the the fancy resources. Oh no, that doesn't do it for me. I don't have enough. I I need one more whistle to make this work exactly how I want. Oh. Whoops. Well, I made my bed. I shall lay in it. Yeah, because I was going to come up here and grab a share of yellow. And then turn it in, but I don't have enough whistles. I thought that I had 
more. But nope, I only went into this round with coal, I guess. Well, um... Sure. <laughs> uh, this still makes sense for me to come here, trade this in, and I'm going to... Um, so we get three points. Three times five is going to be 15. So from 145 to 155. And I have to get rid of one. I'll get rid of this St. Louis Express. All right, so the video cut out kind of weird. Just some technical difficulties. But I came here... Uh, so I get I grabbed two coal and a green and then what I am going to do for my last action is move my train from up here Trade in a blue and a green and get one more of the st. Louis Express uh, Which I've got here and then I'm going to grab my ten points So that'll be the last action I get to take in the game just earning those ten points there So this is where we stand and now let's do Final scoring. This is really exciting. Let's see where this ended up. Okay, so you earn 15 points for each share that you have the majority of. So I have 30 points worth of shares. Okay, so 59 plus 30 is 89. Okay. Then I got 45 points. So 65 plus 45, I can math. I'm an accountant. I don't know where Excel is right now. 110? 110. Okay. Um, and then for the gears, we have the victory points listed, so I have eight. I get three, three. for mine. Okay. Um, for cubes, I have nine, because each one of these is worth three. Rare is worth three each, so I get 12 in rare. Which is... Two, ten, twenty-five. Okay, and then I have two in common. So the common resource is worth one each. So do that too. You have a four in gold. Ooh, I only got a three in gold. So you did get a, a higher value gold than me. And then these resources, every two is a point. So I have three more points. So I end at one, or sorry, two thirteen. Okay, and then I have only uh, two. So then I get, there we go. My final score is 232. Yours was 213. Yeah, very high score game. Really high scoring game. So I think just some final thoughts. I really enjoy this game. I haven't won it yet, um, but I do really enjoy it. I think it's just fascinating. Um, just the way that the paths all work out and the tiles are totally different. And like I was looking for a red and white tile at the beginning and they had this one, but they weren't connected. So you couldn't get them together. Um, you couldn't move from one to the other like you can with some of the other ones, like this gray and white. So it's just really interesting how, you know, even with my ability to pick the exact tile that I want, um, I still lost because it's just, yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah, I was getting there. Oh, so one last note for final scoring is I, oh, yes. we had no of the um, specialty tiles. And that's one thing I like too, right? So if you have, if you're holding on to one of these, like any of these kind of specialty tiles at the end of the game, that's minus 10 points. Which honestly, like for example, if I were holding on to two of them, that would pretty much cost me the game. I think that's awesome because that means if you get these cool tiles, you have to put them out there. And that's kind of that positive interaction where something that I put down, Wendy can come and use as well. Mm -hmm. Like that general store. Yeah, that general store ended up being really useful for both of us. You got to use the 25 point thing because of it, I think, right? Coming there yep. a few times. Um, then that's how I got my hoard of like these rare resources at the end that were worth a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I gotta agree. I love the way that these tiles work and that if you orient them different ways, it really changes the map. Uh, and so, yeah, even spinning it one little degree differently or whatever, um, it's so satisfying to build the map over the course of the game. It has that, I don't know, it's got a good look to it. And I think it plays really well with two players, if that's a concern for anybody. Yeah, definitely great for two players. Um, in fact, I like it better with two than when we played it with four because there's less wait time because you do take four actions every turn. Um, so I just really liked that I felt like the turns went by quickly because I only had to wait for Chris. That's true, yeah. And I love I love the four actions that you get to do. them. I, I, when I first saw the rules, I thought that maybe it would be like a a one-to-one -one kind of a thing, and that didn't really make sense. So I like that you can do all four. And even doing all four, you're like, oh, I want to do so many more. If there's any comments or anything, just feel free to, to share those with us. 
If there's any points that you that we broke a rule or something, then feel free to let us know as well. Uh, just be nice about it. Don't yell at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how about just a quick little closing thoughts? Any, what were your thoughts on this game as in general, but also this game as we played it this time? I mean, I really enjoyed this game, even though I've lost the every time that we've played it so far. It amazes me that our scores are so high. That, you know, we cross 200 um, pretty regularly in a two-player game. And I know that you do that because you use all your trains. And um, But yeah, it's it's fun. It's an interesting kind of puzzly game where you're just trying to get stuff to fit together and go the right directions and resource management. So I really enjoy it, and I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, one of the few like negative things I would say about it is just some of these tiles you saw as like, struggling to get them to click in and fit in and stuff. But I love the way that this game looks. It has kind of like um, people do. You know, I don't know. People say like app artwork, like if you're playing like a free phone app type of a thing, which for some reason that conveys that 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 conveys it pretty well. It's got this really good looking art. It looks silly, um, but but I love you know sitting there and saying okay, I'm gonna add a new tile and I can kind of rearrange it how I want. I know I want to get to the green, so which way should it go? And I think that. Uh, it has that Suro or that, um, if anyone's ever played Slide Blast, just those those route building games, like you lay tiles to build routes. I think that this one does it so well because it's got all of that pick up and deliver and stock market type of stuff added in with it, but it's still not complex. It's still not overly difficult. You know, there were a few moments where you saw Wendy and I were trying to figure out what would be the best thing to do and we took some time on our turns but it doesn't really bog down especially with two players yeah and i i tend to like these kind of games more with two players just because i like getting my turn right away um because you take four actions it feels um sorry it, so because you take four actions sometimes it feels like the turns can be a little long in between um and so yeah definitely with two players i i prefer it very cool. Well, there you go. That's Whistle Stop. Uh, you know, join us every week. We post our podcast every Saturday. We'll be posting up some more videos. Let's wave bye bye to the audience. Goodbye. This is Meeple Overboard. Thanks for watching.